Hi, my name is Laura Powers. I'm the registered physiotherapist here at Active Life Conditioning. And today I'm going to show you a hip flexor and quad stretch that's really important for skiers. I see a lot of young athletes around that 14 year old age and older where they have a lot of back issues from skiing, back pain, back tightness. And because your hip flexor is attached to the spine, and when you're in your skiing tuck position, there's a lot of load for your stress. Tight hip flexors and quads can play a big role in contributing to that back pain. So this stretch is one that I want you to try after skiing, after any dry land training, or any conditioning where your muscles are already warmed, and we're going to try and hold this stretch for around 45 seconds per side. So to do this stretch, you're going to come up with your back to the wall. You're going to come into a knee, uh, back knee down, front leg up, into this 90 degree position. So it's not a deep lunge, it's more upright. Your hands are going to come onto your front leg and we're going to create a push backwards to engage your core. From here, you're going to tuck your tailbone under. So try and curl it and squeeze this bottom glute and hold for five seconds. By contracting that glute, we're actually going to get those hip flexors to relax. Once you relax after that five seconds, we're going to push the hand Tuck the tailbone and hold that glute contraction for five seconds. To progress this into more of a quad stretch, you're going to take your back foot up against the wall. If you're really tight, you might even start with your foot on a step, and the more flexibility you get, the closer you can take that knee to the wall. We're still going to try and maintain this 90 degree position, and we're going to push the hand, tuck the tailbone, it's way more intense through that quad, and we're going to hold for that five seconds. You're going to repeat that for three or four times so that you get about a 45 second hold. 